Hi and welcome to Chicken Richard Cooking Strawberries and Cream Rolls. We're going to make these delicious rolls in the Kmart Sausage Roll Maker. We've just got some cinnamon here. We're going to add that to our chopped up strawberries with our icing sugar or powdered sugar. And that will get all of the juice out of those strawberries. Go into the strawberries, give them a gorgeous flavor. We will be thickening this with some potato starch. Now, if you ever had a bit of trouble finding some potato starch, you could substitute arrowroot or corn flour for potato starch and that will give you a similar thickness but you won't have the nice clear liquid sauce of filling that potato starch which is also gluten free will give you so just sprinkle the sugar all around that by osmotic action that is going to draw the moisture out of the strawberries and flavor the sauce so we're just gonna put that to one side now we've got our puff pastry here which is chilled and we also have some little cubes of cream cheese just unflavored cream cheese we're going to pop a couple of these in each of our strawberries and cream you can't put cream into the strawberries and cream because it will just run out everywhere but the cream cheese will actually melt give it the same mouthfeel and flavor as cream would but it will also look pretty as well so we're just going to pop those back into the fridge we need these to be really quite firm when they go into the sausage roll maker and also our pastry is going back in the fridge as well because it behaves a lot better when it's quite chilled okay you'll find there's a fair bit of sauce being leached out of these strawberries at the moment and that's mixed with this icing sugar if you've got really really sweet strawberries and these aren't despite the size of them just wind back the sugar a little bit if that's your preference we've got our potato starch now and that is going to be our thickener all right now just mix this all around and it'll coat all of those strawberries we've left them in large pieces we have also left the the green bit on the end there do you see that the reason i've done that normally when you hold strawberries you lose that but that actually will hold its shape a lot better than the the redder part of the strawberries and it will absorb all the flavors that we're putting in here anyway so why waste it it's going to give you a little bit of texture show you that the strawberries are actually holding their shape a little bit now just taking our cheese and our pastry out of the fridge we're going to fold back our pastry to halfway okay and just lay that like so into our sausage roll maker make sure it's right to the edge because we need a good seal on our strawberries and just gently stretch it into those holes with your fingers we're going to pack these strawberries in but we aren't going to push it in too tight because they're not cooked and they'll actually punch a hole in the bottom of the pastry and of course that's going to leak All right, one punnet of strawberries is going to give you four gorgeous packed to the brim strawberries and cream pies so we're just going to load that now make sure everybody gets the benefit of some of the sauce now as these cook they're going to actually wilt down and they're not going to be as high packed as what our apple pies and our apricot pies were but you'll still find that there's oodles of flavor in this recipe pack them all in there and when you bite into this you're going to actually have big massive chunks of gorgeous strawberries and that's the color of our sauce now but of course when it's cooked it'll be quite clear okay so arrange these a little more tidily and we're going to pop a little couple of cubes of our cream cheese on top and when that melts it'll go down into the strawberry pie and give it a gorgeous creamy flavor as well and it will melt if you eat these cold it'll solidify a little bit but it'll still have a gorgeous flavor now we just take our bottom half pop it over seal it over the back edge as best you can and the side edge, even if you have to stretch a little bit because we're trying to avoid some boil overs here. Okay, peel that off. Puff pastry is quite forgiving. Okay, now stretch it over. So we've got our center bits there. Okay, and close the lid, snap it shut and turn it on. The red light will come on to show that the power is activated. The green light will come on to show that it has reached its temperature. When that green light stays on, it's cooking and heating. When the green light goes off, it has dropped below the optimum temperature and it will continue to heat. Leave that for about 10 minutes. Okay, these are obviously pretty juicy strawberries. We've got a bit of a boil over happening and at nine minutes, we're just gonna check this and see what we've got. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Nice and crispy, browned all over. And as you can see, there's, the filling has really tried to get out. So we're gonna drag those out now and I'll show you what they look like inside when they've cooled a bit. Okay, we're just gonna fetch these out now, pop them on a tray to cool, clean up the mess we've made. They're really lovely and crispy. Getting them out is a bit of a trick. 
and that will just wipe out quite easily and it's cool off. Okay, look at that. It's absolutely packed with juice. Still lovely and crispy. It tastes shabby. It's like filled with like strawberry jam and cream. Mm, 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 mm. Not too sweet. You can taste the cinnamon. The juice is thickened up nicely. And you can see the little pieces of the cream cheese in there. So squeeze it out a bit. And you've got whole pieces of strawberry. Thanks for watching.